All right, fellow Factorians, welcome to a quick uh, spotlight or mod spotlight of a relatively new mod that came to the portal called Xenos Oppression. We are fighting for the survival of the human civilization and safeguarding it across Novice, and we need the tools and materials to do so. And that's where our mod Xenos Oppression comes in. It gives us the tools in terms of tanks, light tanks, medium, laser tanks, robotic infantry, even an air transport that can be used as a bomber. All the things you need in order to conquer novice. Now, two main things that I really like about this mod compared to other vehicle mods like say King Joe's tanks and others is the modular ability of the vehicles themselves and the ease of production. Let's go enter into this building right now and I will show you what I'm talking about. So this is the manufacturing line. Let, I'm going to reduce this. Anyway, this is the manufacturing line that I have for the basic light vehicle or light assault vehicle called ALRV. What the key feature of this mod is that you create the chassis which is universal and then you can attach different turrets to that chassis so you don't need to produce the entire tank with the turret but you can make a universal chassis and then simply take it away to certain places where you want say an MG tank production, auto cannon production, artillery production they are all using the same chassis so it's really neat to see the modular ability of the vehicle and it's also easy to produce as you can see all you need is engines uh, iron chests iron gears and iron plates so basically you can create the entire vehicle out of iron or iron and steel that's really cheap and it's cheap even for me i'm playing with bobs and angels in the background so i'm used to having complex recipes with lots of intermediate uh, products in order to create a final product so it's kind of surprising for me to see how uh, easy it is to produce so many of these tanks in relatively short amount of time now i'm going to mention two mods that literally bring this mod to life and that is AAI Industries. AAI Industries is a mod that gives your vehicles, both modded and vanilla, the ability to act autonomously. They can drive around, they can engage enemies on their own. What you need to do is take that vehicle that you've just produced, any tank, any aircraft, whatever, and give it a basic electronic board. I don't know what's the equivalent for this in vanilla possibly red circuits or green circuits something like that some electronic component that imbues that vehicle with ai and then you can see that it has the word ai with a white that is written in white written all over it so you'll know that this vehicle is ai capable now i have placed several of these as you can see, they are fueled up by coal. <laughs> yeah, because combust internal combustion engines run on coal and we've been lied to this whole time. And I've also given them a few mag firearm magazines for ammo. But I cannot, as you can see, I cannot still tell them how to go and where to go. So that's where another mod comes in, one that works in conjunction with AAI Industries, and that is Unit Remote Controller here. It gives me this uh, yellow-black controller that allows me to drag a box around all of the units that I want and tell them where to go. So I've selected all of these tanks, I'm gonna set their vehicle AI to on and watch how they turn on their engines as I do so. Now they're ready to go. Let's pick them a target. We got this relatively easy target right here on our doorstep. I'm gonna shift 
left click the mouse and there they go now these tags follow a biter ai so their pathfinding isn't perfect as you can see with all the jagged turns that it's going to make and once they reach the final destination you can see each one of them has its own waypoint so that they won't bunch up on one another however they are while they're going there they will bunch up so that's kind of a bummer and there you can see they're already engaging the enemy and destroying them en masse the only disadvantage of the mg variant is that its range is 22 which means that worms like this they their range is 38 oh man they're really taking a beating sorry for the lag by the way as you can see my guys are cleaning house they're eradicating the xeno infestation from my doorstep and the best thing about this is that i can just leave them be and if they ever require reinforcements then i have this entire silo just ready to be deployed and sent to the front lines so this is the mod i just want to show you one other thing that i talked about uh, in terms of modularity so let me show you real quick alrv so as you can see the same chassis this is what i talked about the modularity the same chassis can be fitted with an mg auto cannon artillery heavy artillery and a rocket launcher we also have here the AMB or AMT, yeah, the AMT, which is a medium tank, much beefier. It's also much much more costlier, as you can see in the left side. However, it can be fitted with either a double auto cannon or an armored cannon turret. Which does impressive amounts of damage and as you can see we even have uh, research into either AP shells or HE shells or precision suppressive HE shell Wow high range precision HE with increased fragmentation neat other than that we also have the advanced laser tank where he is he's somewhere over here there there he is the advanced laser tank and Somewhere over here is also the infantry, although I'm not sure what research I need to do in order to unlock this specific uh, research that gives me the ability to produce these infantry units. However, these infantry robots are quite cool. And this is something that the mod also adds. As you can see, my guys are currently engaged. By the way, these are the guys that I have sent into that city. Anyways, this is the mod in its entirety. Really cool, really fun. Uh, tell me in the comments below what you think about it. If you tried it, if you not, then I highly recommend that you do. Uh, leave comments uh, about suggestions if you want me to take a look at of other mods maybe. Uh, for Factorio and by the way I want to congratulate you if you reached up to this point not many people do reach to this point in my video so thank you and I love you and like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video